Yes, sir. At uh, same place. Yes, sir. Long standing. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Yung isang kanina na tinataas ko yung kamay ko, sir, with regards to the detection of fraud, madali lang malaman, sir, kung may fraud sa region. Regional Vice President, eh, should monitor the hospital kasi alam nila yung binabayaran nila eh. Mm. For example, sir, nakita kasi namin talaga na maraming fraudulent claims sa hospital. Ang problem, hindi talaga nire-report. So, we, we just concentrate on the two most commonly used up, uh, up, uh, up case up case diagnosis, the pneumonia and sepsis. Go ahead. Uh... So, dapat, sir, yung mga hospital na nagkukumit ng fraud, naka-red flag na sa kanila yan. Alam nila yan? Yes, sir. So, uh, let's say, tapusin muna natin yung pito at saka tayo magpaliwanag, okay? <laughs> so, baka mabaril na ako, sir, paglabas ko ito, sir. Wala. <laughs> Wala na nga, sir, yung bayo. Wala na dead sa biler. Pag na-wounded ka, meron. Huwag ka matakot. Ay, ito. Sabi ni Bong. Huwag ka matakot. Sabi ni Bong. Sabi ni Bong. Sabi ni Bong. Huwag ka matakot. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Samahan kita. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, yun naman ang... Yun naman, sir, ang nasa amin. Kaya kami matatang. Dahil alam namin na sa likod kami ng presidente, ay ginagawa lang namin yung upos niya. Natapusin ang problema sa PhilHealth ay tanggalin ang mga taong trap. Sige. So... Number three is William Chavez, sir. Number two pa. Number two. Wala pa yung two. Sir, number two is Cali Guzman Makabato, 17 years as RPP, ARMM. ARMM. Sir, ulitin ko lang, sir. Hindi ko sinasabi na meron silang case ng extortion or case ng ano. They have influence. So, ginagawa nila, sinisira nila ang present administration kahit kung gagalawin sila. Third is William Chavez of Region... Seven, twenty-one years of service. Same position. Yes, sir. Same location. Ganon rin yung kalina. Yes. Sa arm. Hindi sila nalilipat. Yes, sir. Hindi po nalilipat. Ang common denominator, hindi sila nalilipat. Yes, sir. Kahit napalipat. And we'll have problems in civil service, sir. Kasi yan ang ginagamit nila para hindi sila ma-rotate. Ito po sa kanang talaga ni sir. Unfortunately, sir, hindi nagagawa niya rin na meron silang certain time na ma-resolve yung issue. Meron mga mga cases na maabot ng one year or two years bago sila makapagbigay ng resolution. So, okay. hindi makapag-move ng tao. So, pangapat po. Pangapat. So, number four is Dennis Adri, sir. 21 years of uh, service years as Region 11. Hindi 21 years old. No, sir. Uh, 21 years as RBP Region 11. Region 11. Okay. Uh, number five, Dr. Miriam Grace Pamonag, former RBP Region 12. He was already dismissed. Dismissed ito ba rin? Babae yan, babae? Yes. Babae yan, babae? Yes. Babae yan, babae? Allowing this allowance. Regards to the release of this allowed Christmas benefits. Number six is Masinding Alonto, 21 years, RVP Region 10. So dito, sir, kay, may whistleblower kami in Region 10 na may extortion sa isang hospital. So, na-elevate namin ito sa Malacanang, two times sa Malacanang, na-discuss sa board, but unfortunately, nag-withdraw yung whistleblower sa takot. And we ask the help of NDI na mag-investigate nito. Oh, hindi ba niya nakuha yan? Can you bring him here, please? Yung whistleblower? No. Is it possible to bring him here? Your Honor, the NDI investigated the case. But it's just that the whistleblower withdrew. Withdrew? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. May affidavit naman, sir, na nagbigay sila ang affidavit sa amin na initially they gave 500,000 pesos to a legal officer in Region 10. Eh, ang kapalit nito is ma-reverse yung decision nila na may... Sa hospital? Yes, sir. Sa hospital lahat ang may tama rito? Yes, sir. Lahat ang kaso niyan, sa hospital ang may tama? Yes, po. May doktor? Ano po? Hospital lang. Takot ka lang ata kay Dr. Ferrer. Go ahead, sige. Okay, another one is Atty. Valerie Holero, former OIC Corporate Secretary. Sir, basically ito yung group na... 
and another is na si uh, Attorney Galicto. Okay, ito yung group na talaga nag-resist, sir, sa kahit anong movement na simple rotation. Hindi natin malaman, sir, bakit hindi sila magpagalaw dun sa area kung saan nandun So, the common sila. denominator, again, I will reiterate, is that they, hindi sila pwede tanggal at uh, same place. Yes, sir. Long standing. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Yung isang kanina na tinataas ko yung kamay ko, sir, with regards to the detection of fraud, madali lang malaman, sir, kung may fraud sa region. Regional Vice President, kay should monitor the hospital kasi alam nila yung binabayaran nila eh. Mm. For example, sir, nakita kasi namin talaga na maraming fraudulent claims sa hospital. Ang problem, hindi talaga we report. So, we, we just concentrate on the two most commonly used up, uh, up, uh, up case up case diagnosis, the pneumonia and sepsis. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Tulaka. Are they here? I don't know, sir. The next that you mentioned, are you here? Those who are? Oh, okay. oh. Tell me, can, can, can you invite you move forward, them, here, please? Mr. Chairman, so we can hear their side? Yes, of course. I intended to do that, of course. I'm not going to just do anything. Can you please sit down here? Uh, there is yeah, a room please here. take your seats uh, so we can uh, hear you out also. How many are you? One, two, three, four. Are you coming? Uh, five, six, seven. Completo. The magnificent seven. <laughs> All right, uh, before anything, I'd like you to stand up, raise your hand, and uh, take the oath. Be sure to tell the truth and nothing but the truth to help you guide this inquiry. Uh, will the secretary please? Take individual names to show that they have already been under uh, under oath. Let the record state that. Go ahead. Can you please identify yourself from the oldest? Are you the oldest? No, no. Bring your hand down. Bring your hand down. It's okay. Attorney Kalikusaman in Makabato, Regional Vice President Pro Arm. Arm. All right. Okay. Dennis B. Adre, Regional Vice President for Region 11, now with Region 12. Right, okay. Attorney Gilbert Galicto, Your Honor, uh, Legal Officer of Philip Canada. Okay. Mr. Regional Vice President, William Billy Chavez. Regional Vice Region. President. Uh, formerly from Region 7. Sorry? Region 7, sir. Region 7, yes. Masiting Alonto Jr., uh, Regional Vice President for Region 10, Carrera de Oro. Right. All the best, Regional Vice President, Region 4. Okay, sir, Region, sorry. Region 4, D, Your Honor. Sorry? 4, D. 4, D. Mayra, pagkahit ang hearing. Attorney Valerie Holiano, Attorney 6, Assistant Corporate Secretary of the Union. Please, sir. We have a chance to rebut, but I think we've run out of time because we're going to have a hearing at 3. So, let us finish with this testimony, if I do. Will allow it and then we can call them back later again. If I may, I think uh, the names of these persons having been mentioned, if we can just give them an opportunity, one minute each, to respond in fairness to them. Okay, I, I was the only to do that, yeah. but I'm not, I was giving, going to give them the whole hearing next week. Uh, but, uh, we don't, we don't prejudice enough to say clear. Definitely. We're not saying you're guilty. Yeah. Your names have been mentioned. The mafia has been bandied yeah. about. Yeah. So it's a good time. I don't know what I'm saying. I just wanted to make sure that I get the whole gist of what uh, uh, the statements uh, that are being uh, alluded to them, the, the uh, actions that are being alluded to them. Can you continue, please? Make it fast. Then I'll go to you. I promise. Please put in the problem sa rotation. And they will do everything to distort the management once we can allow siya. Okay, they will, will uh, give information to different people, different politicians, even the media. 
Sir, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, sir, regarding sa detection ng fraud. So, nag-focus ako sa pneumonia and sepsis. Sir, with the... Sorry, nagawa na ako. So, you're saying that if they wanted to, they can find out, right? Is that your statement, Salvador? Now, if you could just prepare all that for the next hearing. Para mas mabilis tayo ngayon. Andiyan na, meron ka na. In sepsis cases, sir. Sir, go ahead. Uh, uh, reference PHEALTH dashboard using our dashboard. On April 2 to 3, 2018, claims incurred for the period of 2014 to 2017. Sir, based on this finding, sir, 70 health institutions nationwide may be considered as red flags for pneumonia, and most were identified in Area 4, which is most of these RVP are assigned. 116 hospital HCIs nationwide may be considered as red flag for sepsis, and most were identified in Area 4. 11 HCI nationwide may be considered red flag for both cases, and most were identified in Area 4. Sir, ang sinasabi ko dito, sir, na itong mga hospitals na dapat na-check, kaya nga ginawa namin, sir, na domiciliary visit kami, inutusan namin ang fact-finding division na mag-surprise visit sa lahat ng regions na nakita namin may possible fraud, na hindi nire-report ng RDPs. And nakita ng fact-finding investigation na 10 out of 10 dun sa hospital na na-identify namin positive may fraudulent claim. So lahat po yung reported. A formal report to that effect? Yes, sir. May, for, may report po that, tayo rito po. Did you submit it to the committee? Yes, sir. So yun nga po, ang sinasabi ko nga, sir, madali sana mag-detect ang fraud if the RVP is really functioning. So dapat nga yun, parang sa police one-strike policy, pag may nakita ng fraud, fraudulent hospital doon sa, sa region nila, dapat may, uh, may accountability sila. All right. Are you done? Yeah. Yes, sir. Can we start with the lady first? Sir, the Can reason again? I'm Valerie Holiero. Valerie. Yes, uh, this Assistant Corporate Secretary of PhilHealth. The reason I think why they're blaming us for uh, tagging us as, as the mafia are we were the ones who reported fraud yes. and even testified in the August 22, 2017 hearing and the Committee on, on Good Governance and Public Accountability. You can check the transcript, sir. We can give lower you a copy house. in the lower house, sir wherein we um, uh, reported the fraudulent activities that were going on in PhilHealth. I was wondering because um, Dr. Salvador and Dr. Ferrer were there, and they even talked to me afterwards. See, Dr. Salvador, sir, we spoke for two hours, and they reported to him all of the fraud that was going on in PhilHealth. Everything that's coming out now, because when I was corporate secretary, sir, there were a lot of cases that were there. They were missing board resolutions. There were cases that were not acted upon in 10 years. There were, you know, there were really badges of fraud. <laughs> Maybe, sir, that's the reason why they're picking on us, filing um, absurd administrative cases against us. So there are cases that they're filing against you already? Yes, sir. Administrative. For me, sir, because of my daily time record. So, I mean, if you look at the cases, sir, it's really absurd. You know, there are no fraudulent cases filed against us, so it's very unfair that we are labeled as mafia, we are labeled as corrupt in several um, press releases that they gave out. So that's the only reason I can think of, because this um, the Mindanao block, sir, have been consistent in um, giving position papers against the all-case rate and the failed policies of the corporation. I know, I don't know, Your Honor, what uh, she's talking about. Yes, uh, sorry. But uh, it's not... There was a received copy by Dr. Federer, uh, sir, and we can provide you with that. Uh, I, I will recognize you, but don't speak out out of turn, please. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So um, the Mindanao Block has been consistent in uh, giving um, um, position papers to the members of the board, to the new presidents, and the failed, regarding the failed policies which are bleeding the corporation dry. Um, and that's why they are being picked up. You know, they're picking on them. And they're making us an excuse. Uh, recently, sir, in PhilHealth, reassignment has been a punishment. It's not because for the efficiency of service. If you look at the recent reassignment, it's more than 100 in the, la in the past year. 
it's used as a reward and punishment system in our corporation. So I think before we tag anybody as mafia, before we tag anybody as corrupt, we should look into the cases that were filed against us. We can provide the media with the copies if they want because they're all absurd cases. In okay. fact, there were cases like 16 years old. 16 in your years case, old. Uh, it's on time card? Is that the daily time record. Daily so time I, record. Uh -huh. Attorney 6, salary grade 26, full-time service. There were two days in September 2018 that I was not logged by the guard and I was filed. There were two cases filed against me. The first case was for um, serious dishonesty, falsification, and conduct prejudicial to the best interest of, of the service. I was suspended for 90 days preventively. On the last day of my preventive suspension, the second case was filed for the other day that I was not logged by the guard. I was in Malacanang, sir.